Alright guys, my chat asked me to play Defox and give my thought process how to play Defox properly, so I'm gonna try it in this game. I think when you play Defox in general, um, I feel like Defox is one of the Pokemon like Dojo who are benefiting a lot from the emblems. So having like 7 black emblems and 6 green emblems is benefiting like Defox a lot. So I always play these emblem builds when you play Defox on ladder. Whether just ranked in general. When you play Defox with the build, you usually try to go with a amplifier build. So like amplifier, shell bell, and uh, spoon. You can uh, you can play shell bell or choice specs. Choice specs is for better secure in the early game, and shell bell is for perma spamming. I really like shell bell in general because I don't know. I think Defox is one of the like most fun Pokemon in the game. And when you play shell bell with amplifier. And seven black emblems, you can spam so much, so many times, like just so broken. When you play jungle, just in general, Defox is a really high scaling character. It's not really as good in the early game. You need level six and level seven to at least make something happening with Defox. So instead of trying to gank the lane that is losing, you should just gank the winning lane, then try to get your jungle again. Always take your jungle before. After you take the beast, don't overextend on top lane, don't overextend on bot lane, and keep your mind to rotation of the jungle. Every time you finish the jungle, it spawns after one minute. It's like in the uh, top lane and bot lane path as well. You take one creep, for example, this Albino is gonna spawn at 8.20 if you take it at 8. Wait, it's gonna spawn at 7.20 if you're gonna take it at 8.20. So now I'm gonna take the jungle fast. And then I'm gonna have a triple rotation for the uh, for the what the objective. You potentially always try to get level level nine on Day Fox, but it's kind of hard to get level nine for the first objective as Day Fox. If you are if you're getting so many shutdowns or you're getting like the big B like this, then it's like easier to get level nine. I think you should all, like only fight the middle bunnies if no one is fighting for it, or just to try to steal it. If you try to... Um, if you try to fight the middle... Oops, I broke the fight. I bet. If you try to fight the middle Swablos when no one is there and you die, you have so many uh, comeback XP in this game. It's just not good for your team. You can fight for the beast or you take your blue buff again. For this game, I'm gonna take the blue buff and the volte from behind to get level 9. Because I got... Um, the uh, Altaria and the Swablu in the middle. Right, I'm level 9, I'm gonna start the objective on bot lane and I'm gonna try to bait them in. I'm not gonna focus on getting the objective, I'm gonna focus on shutdowning the enemies. Because I think I can uh, beat them all if they run into my ultimate. They are pretty low. Nice. Oh no, the picket, the biggest, the biggest get the picket too. I think I could have utilized a better ultimate, but it's fine. Like I was stalling four people, and we are even getting the objective as well. Let's see, Blizz is gonna steal it. Blizz is gonna steal it. <laughs> Oops. If you have choice specs, like it says uh, it has a better secure, but it's like, it's like whatever. <laughs> oh my god, I missed the fire was pretty bad time, but it's fine. We got the top layer objective. And keep in mind, we already pushed the top layer objective, we bought the bottle objective, and we have, like, we are so 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 far ahead. And Delphox drops um, below 50% HP, um, her passive drops. So every time you use an ability, like um, the flame, the flames are gonna attack the enemies. We did a lot of damage. What the? Um. My ultimate! <laughs> I, um, I got kidnapped. <laughs> but yeah, just in general, like when you play Death Fox, it's really easy to uh, get your ultimate recharge. Every time you hit a mystical fire, um, you get cooldown reduction. Golem reduction is so good on this Pokemon. Playing Amplifier and Shell Bell, thus having level, level 11 and the blue buff, will give you so many cooldowns. 
This aspect is kind of scary, honestly. Right. One for one. One mistake the Deathfox players are doing when they play Deathfox is they uh, face check the enemies. So instead of doing what I did just now, just play from back. Using Mystical Fire and then Flame Charge to dodge enemies' abilities is better than going forward with Flame Charge and Mystical Fire. The only way you go forward with Flame Charge and Mystical Fire is when you think you can execute the enemies or fight the enemies really well with your eject button. But usually, Deathfox is a player where you just spam the abilities on the enemies and then you just run, run away. Yes. I'm always going for a 1v1. Uh, I, did, I did the same mistake. I used Flame Charge and then Mystical Fire to go on the enemy instead of using Mystical Fire and then Flame Charge to dodge enemy's abilities. I go top lane now. I get so disgusting. It's just a one second cooldown. Nice, for my mystical fire. But this is what I meant, like, you only go forward with mystical fire and flame charge when you think you can execute the enemies. I dodged the Eldegoss ultim like, ultimate with flame charge, and then I mystical fire to hit the enemy. And then I get another flame charge. The moment you do, like, one mistake with the fox, uh, you will get punished for it. So try to think about it when you use the fox, mystical fire and flame charge. It's a big guys. I kind of want to push the top in as well. Go to the top lane objective and then we just chase the enemy. When the enemies show your back, you can flame charge and mystical fire to chase the enemies down. But when the enemies try to fight you, you use flame charge to just stop the abilities. The cool thing about Deathfox is as well, Deathfox is one of the few Pokemon that can use ultimate at 240. Like the last time you can use ultimate is legit 240. If you farm creeps or like score, you get your ultimate back, despite using ultimate so late into the game. Oh, the Comfy is such a satisfying Pokemon. I swear. I'm surprised the Comfy is not playing on his duo battle. He's playing um, with me instead of Asian. The Mystic of Fire is doing so much damage. It's actually crazy. Usually I'm not gonna go for this is kind of aggressive positioning, but I have a comfy on me. So I feel like I'm allowed to use this kind of positioning. Got the Eldegoss ultimate and now we just run away. We take the trade. And you can keep using Mystic of Fire and then Flame Charge to run away. Now they're in the Flux Zone and use ultimate. Well, scary. Nice, good ultimate. Like, honestly, it feels like cheating when you play Death Fox. Like, Death Fox and Don't You with Emblems is so broken. Like, the amount of times you can use your abilities is just way too OP. It's moving on them. Plus having an ultimate that is really low cooldown is like so broken. And if you drop, and like the cherry on top is, if you drop below 50% HP, you do extra damage. <laughs> so this Pokemon is just overtuned. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you. To be fair, I ain't it really hard in this game. But yeah, when you when you play Deathfox again, um, use Flame Charge and Mystical Fire uh, to dodge the enemy abilities and to play passively. Don't try to whip. <laughs> like the only reason, uh, like the only way, I can't talk anymore. The only way you engage is if the enemies show their back. If they show their back, you can chase them down with Flame Charge and Mystical Fire. Yes, we need to farm some damage for some good stats. Yep, yep. It's kind of crazy to me, like, 
how strong Day Fox is. It's one of my favorite um, mages as well. Just the early game is a little bit, um, a little bit weird to play. You wanna play the early game as safe as possible, but you can also go aggressive if you are, like, if your team is winning. Always gank the lane that is winning, because if you gank a losing lane with Day Fox and you're already a weak jungler, you are not gonna get anything out of it. So always try to get a triple rotation on Day Fox and get level nine as ASAP. If you get level nine at seven minute mark, you can use so many abilities, like so many ultimates as well. You want to 10k damage? I think I didn't play well that game, but I hope you learned some insights how to play Death Fox and you want to improve on it. Thanks for watching and I hope you're going to enjoy these guides. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for some future content. See you guys.